Now that we actually have those definitions out of the way, let's take a look at your lesson module. Now, as we were going through the definitions, you guys should have captured those definitions right here on this page. All right. Now, this activity is a little bit longer than what you've had, but bear with me, it's actually pretty cool. Your job is going to be to read several biographies about different colonists that have, let's just say, different motivations. Now, these fictional people, so they're not true, they're just sort of based on actual colonists, each will choose a side. Now, it's your job to try to figure out, based on their biography, whether or not they would have been a patriot, a loyalist, or a neutral. But then you also need to explain your decision, because, of course, this is history class. Everything needs evidence. Now, understand that while some can really teeter-totter between two different choices, the fact is, for each one of these characters, there's one choice that really is going to be very much the true choice. Now, you'll notice I have here video discussion link. Honestly, that's just in case you um, may have shut me off before. So let's go ahead and take a look at our first colonist. So colonist A is a poor farmer in the Hudson Valley of New York. Colonist A has paid no attention to the trouble brewing in the colonies. His day-to-day -day struggle to maintain his farm and family is what worries him. His problems have recently become worse. His landowner, a loyalist, has had some financial troubles, and to get himself out of his enormous debt, the landowner has raised Colonist A's rent three times in the last five months. Now, Colonist A barely earns enough from selling his crops to pay the original rent amount, and now with the raise in rent, Colonist A will be evicted from his farm. He and his wife have six children and feel they will have nowhere to go if they are forced to leave the farm. So, poor farmer, really not paying attention to the colonies, struggling with day-to-day -day maintenance. The landowner is a loyalist, and he's raising his rent. Okay, if we actually look at this man's story, his primary concern is very legitimately not so much the politics of the landlord, but more or less what's going to happen to his family and his children. And so if I were to pick one for this particular colonist, I would actually go ahead and charge him as being a neutral. So you guys will highlight the box. You're gonna come up. Let's go ahead and fill the box. You can choose your color. It doesn't really matter to me as long as you've got one. And then reason for the decision. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. In this case, he doesn't really care about politics. Main worry is his family and where to live. Okay, so once you have completed this one, guys, you go ahead, navigate to your next one, and go ahead and start with colonist B. Now, once you have completed all of these different colonials, you'll head back to the first slide. And we have an Aspire to activity here for you to do, which I would highly recommend. And this is basically your job is to recruit a spy. So you'll read the prompt, then decide who would make the best spy for the side mentioned. Once finished here, once again, head back to that first slide and then go ahead and complete this activity with the Colonial Motivations writing prompt, where now you have to tell me, after reading all these different biographies, what seems to be the main motivations that people are using to choose a side? Is it money? Is it society, power, control, land? What seems to be the big motivations for people to pick a side? Now, it doesn't matter who picked what side. At the end of the day, that's not important. What's important is actually what drives these people to pick a side. What seems to be their big motivators? All right, that's your task for today. Good luck with this. If you have questions, as always, just ask if you're in class or shoot me a remind text if you're at home.